Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 4, Episode 8. This has some really fine painting in it, so let's get started. All right, this is Christy Wark. She's a journalist and a television presenter. I'm not familiar with her, but that's a good view of her face. If I was painting, that's the, that's the angles that I would like to get. Yeah, there's a lot of light and a lot of forms there. All right, four hours into the episode, the artists turn their easels around and we get to see our first look at what they've been working on all this time. And remember, she's going to take one of these home. All right, so this is the first one. A strange angle of her head. I, I don't know how her head was in the sitting. All right, I got to think about this for a second. Love the negative space on the left. That was That's well done. And, and frankly, I like when a head is cut off. <laughs> I, oh, it's not cut off. Okay, it's always interesting. You got to pull back and see. All right. Wow. Very different. It had a lot of impact when we were looking at it close up. So if it had been my painting, you know, I would have cropped it because it gets very weak when you pull back. It just doesn't have the same strength of composition and color. All right, the next one up. <coughs> Excuse me. The next one up. Wow. Well, that definitely has a resemblance to her. Um... I wonder what this is going to look like when we pull back, though. But that's a strongly painted piece. Let's see what happens here. Oh, it holds up. It holds up when you when you pull back. It's um, everything is kind of light key above, and then the dark shoulders. I wonder. I, I have to think about that. All right, here's the next one. I really like how this person was able to make the form. See how round the nose is, how round the cheeks are. You can feel that upper lip, it pulls out. This person understands the anatomy of the face. Oh yeah, they see that holds up well when you pull back. That was very carefully observed. And again, it looks like her. So remember, she's gonna pick one of these to go home and we don't know which ones that's gonna pick. All right, Christy's pick. And, oh, that's the one she's gonna take home. It's really nice. All right, good decision. On to the next one. Next is Derek Jacoby, who has a resume that goes on forever. Uh, I first knew about him in I, Claudius, where he plays the fool. And he's been in the CAD Files series. I mean, he's been in virtually everything I, th I think the BBC <laughs> ever produced. So he's, he's a very... Oh boy, he's, he's just everywhere. All right, four hours later, the easels are turned around. We get our first view. This looks promising. Uh, let's see what happens. He has a very, very pale face. Oh, okay. Ah, interesting. Um, our, uh, ooh. Well, very carefully done with the pinkness and the skin and the blue behind. Uh, love to see the subject looking at their own selves. Wow, it looks even better when you pull back, and I think it does have a resemblance to him. That's a really good job. I wonder what he thinks of it. All right, here's the next one. This is a charcoal and pencil drawing. Um, has a sort of ghostly presence to it, which is interesting, but, uh, but it doesn't look like him. So, I don't know. That doesn't seem to be a factor in this program for, mo for the most part. Very young artist, you can see on the left. There's a, there's, there's, I like, there's a lot of movement. I'm, I'm just not sure about this one. Um, yeah, obviously can't win the program because uh, the commission is a final painting and that goes in a gallery and that's not going to happen. Oh, oh, well, this is a piece of painting that, you know, oh my gosh, I adore. If I ever painted something like this, I would call it a day and be very, very pleased indeed. It doesn't have an exact likeness, doesn't have as much of a likeness as that uh, first one we saw, but the quality of the painting is just so well done. Yeah, when you pull back to, oh boy, that's, that's a beautiful painting. The skin tones are just beautifully, beautifully done and softly done. Smart idea to have a neutral in the background too. Okay, Derek's pick. Oh, we picked this one. That surprises me very much, but, uh, like I always say, what do I know? So we're on to the next one. The last one is Mira Sayal, and she is an actress a co um, and a writer and a television presenter and a comedian, and uh, she does all the things. <laughs> and she got the black chair. Every episode, someone has to be in the black chair. Well, she got the black chair this time, which I'm calling the throne of the episodes because it shows up in every episode. 
All right, here's the first one up. Yeah, that definitely has a resemblance to her. And it's a strong, that's a strong painting. That's a confident painter. Um, we're going to pull back and see if it holds up, but uh, I would say that it probably is going to. Very, very strong colors. Interesting. Painted on, painted with primed canvas of pink first. Ah, well, hmm. Uh, it, it certainly looks like her. It's a good job. I don't know what it would have happened if they had used the time to, to uh, fin finish or be a little bit more anchored in. This one is, um, we've seen a lot of this kind of painting which I, I like, you know, I like color value swap outs, I like minimal brush strokes. There's a lot to like in this painting, but it doesn't quite hold together. I'm not sure why. Yeah, you pull back. See, almost is a little bit chaotic. And part of why it's chaotic is that background. That background really should have been neutralized because she gets lost in this painting. All right, here's the third one. Oh, this does look like her quite a bit. Nice, nice job. But I want to talk about this painting for a little bit because when you pull back, it's it's not strong except for the face. And I find it very odd when it comes to the composition. Why why did the artist feel compelled to, to put her in the lower right-hand corner and leave all that other space around? Um, yeah, I always say this at least once in every episode. I don't get it. I just don't get it. That's a very odd choice. All right, let's see what Mira's pick is. Well, this surprised me. It's this one. But I would crop it to be that size and look like that. That's the strongest part of the painting. All right, now the semifinal judging. Well, the semifinal judging, they're going to pull from all these contestants, and only three will be chosen, and only one will go forward to the next episodes. So here's the first one up. Strong painting. This could very well win. It's, uh, you know, it's more contemporary looking and, and they definitely lean toward contemporary rather than traditional painting. This is my personal favorite, but I have to admit it doesn't look exactly like him. It reminded me of this watercolor of John Singer Sargent. It just has, it has Sargent's colors and his brush strokes and his command of sort of that luminescence that comes from inside a body. I, it's it's a uh, it's a gift, <laughs> and here's the last one, which is um, definitely has a strong likeness to her. It's just this, this one was just so kind of unfinished when it came to the pink below. But now the best part of the program for me is to see the digital portrait that they submit to be on the program, where they have unlimited time compared to the portrait that they worked on today. That's a fantastic piece on the left. And you see the mirror behind, that he used behind. I mean, that's, that's pretty complex. So I, I think they probably considered, rather than the unfinished nature of what he did today, how complex what he did on his own was. Here's a very big difference, I think, between the uh, portrait where you have all the time in the world and then the one that he did in four hours today. But it, it just shows that he just didn't get to complete as much as he normally would. He's certainly capable as well. This is a strong feel. Oh, I don't know what I would do. Here's the last one. This is my personal favorite. But but again, I've been stubborn that it has to look like the, the sitter. And this one really does not. But that self-portrait, boy, that is, that's beautifully done. But way, way leans toward traditional painting. And we've seen, I'm not going to argue anymore about it. They, they just don't like traditional painting very much. It's, it's clear as day. All right, the winner is... Dun, 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 dun. The winner is, look at his reaction. Oh, he's overwhelmed. That's so sweet. So the winner is indeed the unfinished one with all, all that pink at the bottom. Wow. Well, the next episode is episode nine, and that is our real semifinals. That's when all the artists we've seen so far will be in competition against each other. That'll be fun. All right. See you next time. Remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet. Mass for value, mass for color, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.